Hey, welcome back to Sunday School, guys. It is so awesome to be with you as I say that every week, and I say it because it is the truth. It's so wonderful to be able to come into your homes through video on your TV screen and bring you a lesson from the Bible. I love doing it. I have so much fun doing it. So thank you for welcoming me into your homes. So this week, we're doing something slightly different. We're going to be doing what I call a worship Sunday, which means we're going to spend some time worshiping God. Through the Sunday School lesson, there are going to be some songs that I'm going to suggest to you. And I'm going to ask you to, in your home, spend some time listening to those songs. Maybe some of them you know, maybe some of them you don't know. And just take the time to worship God. Okay, and between the songs, we're also going to spend some time trying to remember what we've learned over the past four weeks. Because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes people tell me things and I hear them with my ears and I think, oh, that's really cool information and it's really interesting. I want to remember it. But then a little while later, I forget. I don't know about you. Do you forget what people tell you? Do you forget what your parents tell you? I know I forget. And so what we're going to do today is just spend some time going over the lessons that we've learned from the past four weeks to help us remember what we've learned. Because we don't want to forget. And if we do forget, we want to remember. We want to try and help ourselves remember what we've learned because the lessons are important. guys let's talk about the last four weeks and the lessons that we have learned from the Bible week number one was called awesome amazing God and we spoke about this awesome amazing God that loves us and that we love and the psalm that we used for that lesson was Psalm 139 and there were three lessons that I taught you from that psalm. I wonder if you can remember what they are. Let me help you. The first lesson was that God knows everything about us. He knows everything about you and he knows everything about me. Nobody in the world knows every single thing about us except God, which is really, really cool. Lesson number two from Psalm 139 was that God is always with us. Everywhere we go, God is there. Nobody in the world can be with us all the time, but God sure can. And that's what makes him so amazing that no matter where we go in the world or in our lives, God will always be there. And that is just so, so cool. Lesson number three from Psalm 139 was that God loves us just the way we are. You know, sometimes we like the way we are, but sometimes we don't like the way that we are. And sometimes we like the way other people are, but sometimes we don't like the way that they are. And the truth that we taught from the Psalm 139 is that just the way we are, just the way that we look, just the way that we are, God loves you and he loves me and he loves the entire world. Now, yes, God wants to make us better people, but he still loves us regardless. It doesn't matter. God will always, always love us. And that is so, so amazing. So that's what we learned from Psalm 139. All right, then in week number two, we spoke from Psalm 62. We talked about how God is the God that keeps me safe and he keeps you safe. He is our safe place. And in that Psalm, we had four words that the Psalmist used to describe God. I wonder if you can remember, they were, God is a rock, God is a refuge, God is a fortress, and God is our salvation. But you remember in the lesson we focused on just two of those words, God is our rock 
and God is our refuge. And you remember when I spoke about how God is our rock, I had this big rock that I brought into the lesson with me. You remember that? Yeah, it was this huge rock, right? And I spoke about how it doesn't matter what we face in life, like the rock in the storm, if you put it outside and there's a big storm and the wind blows and the storm just beats against that rock, that rock is not going to go anywhere. I spoke about how God is this rock in our lives and that sometimes we're going to face difficult situations. We're going to be scared. It's going to be stressful. It's not going to be nice. But because God is a rock in our lives, we can face the storm and we can face the situation and like that rock isn't going to be blown away, you and I are not going to be blown away, which is really, really awesome. Makes God really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. And then I spoke about a refuge and how, remember, it started raining while I was doing Sunday school and I had to run inside to protect myself and protect the camera equipment. You remember that? Yeah. And I spoke about how my house is my refuge and God is like our house. God is our refuge, our safe place and he keeps us safe from the storms the storms still happen the bad stuff still happens but god keeps us safe and we can trust him because he is our safe place all right so now we're going to head into a time of worship there's going to be two songs that you guys are going to sing and dance to and just spend some time remembering what we've spoken about this awesome amazing god who is our safe place and why don't you just take the time to thank god that he is so awesome and amazing and that he is our safe place see you back here in just a moment hey welcome back from worship guys i hope you had a good time worshiping god Let's talk about the last two weeks. Week number three was called Obeying God. And the Psalm that we used to teach that lesson was Psalm 111. And you might remember that my wife Robin and I did some skits for you guys where we acted out some scenes to talk about how it's really important for Christians to do three things. Can you remember what they are? If you can't remember, that's okay. I'm going to help you remember. The first thing was that we spoke about how it's important to go to church because church is like a family and like a family is supposed to be there to help us and be there for us and be good for us. A church is also meant to be there for its people and be good for its people like a family. And then, as a family, we come together and we worship this awesome, amazing God that we love and serve. And that's really, really cool to do together, to worship God together. All right. But then the second thing we said is that we need to obey God's instructions. And where are his instructions? They are found, yes, in the Bible. And we believe that the Bible is God's word and that in his word, there are lessons for you and for me to learn for our lives today. So we obey God's instructions. And then the third thing was that we said, don't forget to. Can you remember? Yes, don't forget to pray because prayer is a really important thing that we Christians do. Prayer is about talking to God. It's a relationship with God. Yes, sometimes we ask for things in prayer, but the most important thing about prayer is that we are talking to God. We're having a conversation. It's a relationship with God. Okay, awesome. All right, and our final week was called Jesus Points the Way, right? And you remember Robin was on this great big adventure looking for a treasure and she almost got lost. But thankfully she had a map that pointed her to this treasure that she found at the end of her adventure. And thank goodness, because we thought she was going to get lost. And you remember she spoke about how it would be so nice if she had a sign to point the way to the treasure. You remember that, right? Yeah. And I connected that to Luke chapter 2 in the Bible and spoke about how Jesus is a sign that God sent into the world to point us to this great big treasure, this great amazing treasure, which is 
God himself. Yes. Jesus came as a sign like the road signs on the road guide drivers to know what to do and what not to do. Jesus came into our lives to guide us and show us what we should and shouldn't do. But above all of that, he came to point us to the treasure, which is God himself. And then you remember, I spoke about how the sign is not only for just important people, but the sign is for everyone. Jesus is for you, he's for me, and he's for everyone in the world, which is good news. It's amazing. It makes God so, so awesome. So guys, those are the last four weeks, the lessons that we learned. I hope that you have enjoyed them and I hope that you have learned lessons and I hope that you will remember these lessons, hopefully for the rest of your life, which would be awesome if you could remember them forever. But our lesson is short today because I just wanted to spend some time reminding you guys and then I also wanted you to spend some time worshipping. So that's where we're going to go now. We're going to worship God together for another two songs. Off we go. Welcome back from worship, guys. I hope that was great. So that's all for our lesson today. Like I said, it is short because we just wanted you to spend some time remembering the things that you've learned over the last four weeks and to worship God and thank Him for all the lessons that you've learned about how amazing and how awesome He is. So I'm going to leave you with one last challenge for today and then I'm going to show you how to do that little prank. But what I want you to do is whoever is with you, is it maybe mom or dad or aunt or uncle or family members or maybe you're at church with a Sunday school teacher, I want you to take some time and Sunday school teachers, parents, whoever is with the child, take some time now to discuss together some of your favorite lessons from the last four weeks. Maybe there's things that you don't remember and you need to talk a little bit more about that. Maybe there's things that you don't understand and you want to discuss that a little bit more. Have some time of conversation talking about the last four weeks. And then once you've done that, maybe pick another song or two songs and just worship God again. It is Worship Sunday and worship is really important. So that's what I'd like you guys to do. Spend some time talking about what you've learned over the last four weeks and then worship God some more. All right, guys, that is all from me. Like I said, spend some time talking together as a family and then, or as a Sunday school uh, lesson, and then spend some time worshiping. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.